than sincere. What's up, gang? Welcome back to the channel. It is your girl. Oh, baby, we keep it real, but we ain't gonna keep it that real. Hold on, right quick. What's up, gang? Welcome back to the channel. It is your girl Brittany, and we are back with another video. So, guys, on today's video, I really don't know where this video is going, okay? It's a lot of outside noise going on, so if y'all hear that, excuse that. My kids sleep me with gone, so if you hear that, excuse that as well. But yes, you guys, I don't really know where this video is going. I just feel like I want to come see and talk to you guys. I thought about going live, but I just decided against it. Um, and I feel like this was different than like me sitting in a car, chatting and whatnot. I just wanted to come talk to you guys. I haven't gave you all a sit down video in a minute. So I'm like, let me get a let me get on something different, okay? Than just like a regular vlog of me just filling my thoughts out in the car, okay? So this video is gonna be like, Britt, what's on your mind, okay? Because I'm having things on my mind, y'all, and I wrote a couple notes down. Not really notes, just like talking points. Um, down earlier today. Just so that well really for me, like I was just thinking like what's on my mind and like thinking about it and like Stuff like that. So, yeah, y'all. This is just a talking video, life update. Not really a life update, but kind of like, girl, what's on your mind? Like, what you been thinking about? So, that's what this video is about. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I don't know what it's going, where it's going, like I said already. But, I'm here, and we're about to talk, okay? Okay. So, the first thing I wrote down, y'all, is travel agent. So, if you all do not know, um last year last year sometime maybe summertime last year i decided that i wanted to become a travel agent um it kind of the opportunity was kind of brought to me and i kind of seek the opportunity i knew this was something that i had a passion for for because your girl is always like every time i me and my husband take a trip or my family take a trip i am the planner behind the trip and I felt like I could help other people plan trips and whatnot. Um, so I have booked a few trips um, as of now. I have I do got a couple I do got a few trips under my belt. Um, and my first clients are actually taking their trip. Well, yeah, my first client is actually taking their trip this month. Um, probably next week now. So I need to check in with them, make sure everything is good. Um. But, I have not been pushing it. I have not done any of the things really that I set out to do when I started this. I have not made an Instagram page for it. I have not pushed it or anything. If this is, my question to myself is, is this something that I still want to do? Um, it is. It is something I still want to do. But... I don't know if I want to do it in the way that I'm doing it or the way that I I basically joined a group or an organization um, and like the part of the organization that I joined um, <sighs> okay so I did this of course to help people but after like, this is my first time ever looking into being a travel agent and anything like that. So, like, I just don't know necessarily if I want to go in this lane of doing it. Um, simply because a lot of dreams are sold, you know. And the money, I did it, of course, for to make this an extra stream of income. And I just don't know if... The way that they're pushing it, the part of the organization that I join, I just don't know if that's necessarily how I want to do it. Um, but I know that's where the money is. So it's like, I'm kind of torn right now on if it's something I really want to stick to, be a part of, and all of that. Um, like I know I enjoy looking for trips and planning trips and whatnot i'm just still 
right now. I don't know. Like, for one, the people in this organization. So, I'm a part of an organization where you basically sell the business. You sell the business of becoming a travel agent. That's the organization that I've joined. And that's cool. And it has great benefits. Great, you know, it's a lot of good that can come from it. I am just not someone, I'm not a salesperson. I've I've known that about myself before. I possibly thought that this could be different, but I'm not a salesperson. I don't want to ever try to convince somebody of, like, I don't want to sell a dream to anybody. There are a lot of people in this organization who does do very well and I feel like I have a platform so I feel like I can do very well at that and I definitely met some goals quickly by having a platform but at the same time it's like because of like who I'm trying to sell this to sell this business to it's like Basically, like I said, they want you to sell the business. They want you to they want you to basically get people in to become a travel agent. And I know that the people who I sell the business to might necessarily have the platform to sell the business. Or I mean, it's just worth it. If you really got a good mouthpiece, you can do it. But I'm not that person for real. So I don't know, y'all. And to be honest, that's where the money part comes in at. On that side of it. Selling the business is where the money comes in at. Being a travel agent, you do get commissions off of what you sell. Off the, not well, I'll base I do get commissions off of base off of who I bring in and I also get commissions off of the vacations that I um that I book. Um, but it's kinda not necessarily for me but that's because I haven't pushed it I know I know because if I actually pushed it the way I need to so I just need I'm in my head right now like okay Brick, if you're gonna do this you need to push vacation packages you need to you need to actually set up packages and do the whole thing you know um but I'm just one who I'm not gonna say I don't have time but I feel like I don't have time to but I do have time. I can I can make time. It's a thing. I can make time to set up vacation packages and, you know, present these offers and whatnot to people. So it's like, Britt, okay, either you're going to make time for it or you're not. So I'm kind of just like torn between if I want to continue to do it in this way. Like I said, the, the money side of it is pushing the business. It's not so much money in booking trips. It's just not. I mean, it's fun to do still. I do still enjoy that part of it. So it's like, okay, bro, are you going to do it because you enjoy doing it? Or are you doing it to make some extra income? So that's kind of where I'm torn at between that, y'all. So that's kind of one thing I've been thinking about. Like, Brie, okay, what you going to do with this? Because you got this business. You're actually investing into it every month. <laughs> Like, are you going, is this something that you're going to go ahead and get in your head, like, get weak? Because the things that I do, I do well. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm good at things. I can admit that I'm good at things. So, it's like, Brie, if you're going to do this, you need to do it for real and not play with it. So, right now, I'm in a space like, Brie, either you're not going to play with it and or you're not going to play with it. Like, you ain't gonna play with it, you gonna get shit done, you finna go ahead and push this thing, create an Instagram, get serious about it, or Brie, find another way of doing it. You can still do it, but do it your own way, you know? So, I'm kind of torn between that. So, travel agent, yes, I'm still a travel agent, you guys. If you are, are if you are, if you are, are interested in booking trips or becoming a travel agent, hit me up, okay? Okay. Um, like I said, this video is all over the place. It's nothing, no real. <laughs> I literally got talking points. I'm just going to go down the list. So it's like all out of order. It's not, it's not even an order to it. But the next thing I thought about was like, what's going on in my life. It's like doing for others with no expectations. And then I also put my heart too big. My heart too big. 
So when I say that, y'all, like, I just was kind of reflecting, like, I'm thought all my heart too big. First of all, yeah, my heart is too big. Like, really. I find myself, and this is something I said that I was not going to do. I actually, this is like my second year kind of saying that I wasn't going to do this. Marco snoring too. So if I hear that, ignore that as well. But like, <laughs> I said I wasn't going to lend money out. And then when I, I ain't going to say lend money out, give money out because... The people who ask me for money actually has no intentions on having me back. And even the people who do, like, I just, that was, that was something I said last year. Something I said this year. This year I said I was serious about it. And yet I still find myself, like, literally, I'm talking to my husband about it. And then as soon as, like, we talk about it, somebody hit me up, like, bread, da 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 da, -da and spilling out their problems. And I give in and, you know. But I don't want to be that person. I spoke with you about if you watch my channel frequently, you know, like I don't want to be that person. Like um, I I feel like for one, I'm trying to. I got goals for myself and for my household and for my family, and I'm supposed to be holding up my my part of the deal. Not necessarily a deal, but. I'm supposed to be holding on my end of it and you know saving my money I'm supposed to but then you know people ask to borrow money or somebody's going through something and I not necessarily offer but you know like offer in a sense basically um and I'm not the money that I offered is money that I should have been saving, or the money that some, I lended somebody or well, gave to somebody is money that I should have been saving. And it's just slowing down the progression on where we're trying to go here, you know? Um, so, with that being said, like, my heart is big. I can't, I really can't help the person that I am. I can't help the person that I am. That's just who I am, to be honest. Like, but I have to control this shit. To be real, I just gotta. I gotta. Um, I gotta say no. It's hard for me to say no, but I gotta say no. I'm gonna say no. I will be saying no to anybody who wanted to ask. But <laughs> you know, no, no. Um, doing for others with no expectations. Um. So, with the asking, people asking, I'm going to say no. With me, like, or, like, even people, if I see somebody in a situation or whatever, and I know I can and they can't at the time, I can't offer my, I can't offer money or my services to people with no, you know, like, without being compensated for because, like... Why am I doing that? Like, why? It's so many people out here who are so like, oh, I'm going to need this for this. I'm going to need, I'm, they, they all about their money. Why am I not all about my money? Like, I am. Like, so I said, I'm like, I feel like I'm all about my money. But when it comes to people who I care about, it's like, here you go. Here you go. No. That is not true, girl. We're not doing it no more. But at the same time, it's like, I've done, like, doing Doing for others with no expectations. I've been a good friend, you know, family member, so many people. And it's like, at this point, Brie, if you do it, do it with no return on your investment. Because I just feel like, for one, I don't ask people for anything. I literally don't ask anybody for anything. I don't. Feel like I like I don't I don't go to nobody if I'm having if I'm if I'm in a tough spot or something like I don't remember the last time I I can't remember the last time like it's probably like college days like I don't remember the last time I literally asked somebody for money or help with something or 
ask somebody to cover this for me or anything like yeah I don't remember the last time somebody paid for me to do something like I'm the type of person who gonna front the bill type of thing you know like and I don't know why because I don't got it like that and I need to stop acting like I got it like that because I don't got it like that but if I do do stuff for people, I, I mean, I already been like that. Like, I got to know that to not expect it back. Like, I just feel like if I do something for somebody when they going through something or during a hard time, like, me as a person, like I said, if I, if I was that type of person who needed somebody's help for something and they, can, and they, and they did it without... And they, be, and they just handled it for me because, you know, they're a good friend or a good family member or whatnot. Like, I feel like I would, when I did have my shit back together, I would give them their money back with no problem. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even tell them I'm giving it back. I'd just go ahead and cash up your, whatever you did for me because it was a favor, you know? But I got, I can't, but that's how I am. That's how I, that's how I would be. But that's, but I haven't had to be that person because... I don't ask somebody for nothing. I handle shit that needs to get done. Like, I'm going to get it done. The only person I'm going to go to is my husband. If I need anything. But other than that, you know, so, I just, you got to know, I got to, I, I, I mean, I already know. That's what I'm saying. But, like, if you're going to do, brick, if you're going to do something for somebody, don't even think about it. Don't get in the back of your head. For them to like, oh, when they get good, they gonna have me back. Because nine times out of ten, they forgot about it. That's the crazy part about like, like people forget what they what you do for them. People forget what you do for them. So you can't even expect to get it back. If you gonna do something, if you gonna do something, do it out of kind of kind of up your heart. And I do it every time. That's that's me. That's what I'm saying. I do it out of kind of my heart every time. And I never really look to see like, are y'all me back? Like, I'm not like that. Like, I'm really not like that. But I started thinking. Like, I started thinking, like, I wonder if. But, no, they're not. People don't. People don't think about you. <laughs> like, people don't think about you. It's real. People will literally forget what somebody, how somebody helped you out of a hard situation. Or when you can pay that bill. Or when you can do that. Like, people forget that you did that for them. But you know what? You gotta just do it to not expect anything back. But with that being said, I'm just gonna stop doing stuff because it's like, why am I doing? Why am I doing this? I mean, because I got a good heart. I know that. That's what I literally said. My heart is too big. Because I don't want to see nobody going through nothing. If I can help them. But I know other people don't reciprocate or they don't just even think about like, Oh damn! Okay, let me let me pay her back. You know, she did, she helped me through this situation. Let me pay her back. People don't think like that, so it's like, Brie, if you're gonna do something, do it out of the kindness of your heart, which I did in the first place. But don't even don't even think about it later on. Don't dwindle on it later on. And like, damn, they doing this, 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 and they ain't even think about showing me back whatever I did for them. You know, so you know that's something I've been thinking about. Um, also, right now, it's kind of like a life update or whatever, not really, but, like, my focus right now, y'all, my focus is really my family, like, my family is my focus right now, being the best wife, mom, you know, career woman that I can be, like, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Like, with life, my focus, I've, like I said, I haven't, it's crazy because, like, I've gotten so much more sleep than I've ever, than I've gotten in so long. I have not gotten this much sleep in a long time. I go to sleep, but I be sleep by 11 o'clock. If y'all know that watch my channel, your girl used to couldn't get no sleep. I don't know what has happened in my life. Maybe I pray. I prayed for this. I guess I did pray for this in a sense. Like, I need rest. 
And so maybe that's why I haven't focused on other business opportunities or travel agent stuff because it takes more time out of my day. And really, like, once I'm done doing what I'm doing for the day, I, you know, right now, I am, it's baseball season. And if y'all don't know, I am a team mom slash coach type for real. Like, baseball is my life. All of my kids play baseball right now. And it takes up so much of my time. We get home, we eat dinner, we do homework. Baby, once some kids is taking a bath, I ready to take my shower and get in the bed myself and I be going to sleep and I get so I get I've gotten so much rest this year. But I did pray for stuff like I did pray for days like this for real. I ain't gonna lie, like because I felt like I was just like so overworked, so overwhelmed. And I still got a lot going on, but I can manage it better now. Like like just focusing on my household. That's what I wanted to do. This is what I prayed for. So it's like, do I want to even pick up any extra things to do right now? It's like, I feel like I'm not busy enough. But at the same time, when I get too busy, I haven't pushed t-shirts. Like, I've still been doing them. But it hasn't been like on a rush type of thing or nothing like that. Because, or it's like on my own. You know, it's like, I can do it without feeling pressure. I can actually go to sleep at night, which I haven't been enjoying. I have been enjoying being able to just, whoo, the kids are asleep. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and um, get to sleep too. Like, I've been enjoying that aspect of my life. So, my family has been literally my focus right now. And I've been enjoying that. I feel like so much at peace. I feel at peace. I don't feel stressed out. I don't feel overworked. I don't feel like, oh my God, I'm just so exhausted. I don't feel that. And I've been enjoying it. I've been enjoying it so much. Um, but it, it does, like, I feel like I'm not on my grind. Like, I just feel like I'm not, like, I'm so used to grinding that I feel like I'm not grinding right now. But it's like, that's okay right now. Because you do got other shit going on. Like I said, I'm a team mom for my, my children's baseball teams. And I help coach them slick. Okay? So, um, right now this is my focus. Like, for real. Like, I enjoy it. I'm very busy with it. Like, baby. The stuff that goes into it. If you, if you ain't been there, you won't know. But if you been there, like, just having a team doing custom uniforms like being just there in the everyday life of it like i'm at practice every day like all the whole time like for both the, for all my kids it's like it's a lifestyle and the season ain't even started yet like we just practicing right now so when this game start like until june 10th is when the championship game is that's gonna be my life baseball is gonna be my life and i'm happy with that i enjoy it I've been enjoying baseball season, okay? So, like, that's where my life is. And, like, just being so just involved with my kids and everything that they're doing. Being the best wife. Like, y'all, I have been feeling like a bitch in heat right now. When I say a bitch, I mean a female dog. Like, I've been feeling like a dog in heat. I've been wanting to just be all over my man, okay? I just want to be all over my man. Like, I am so, like in love i've been in love but like infatuated like, i love my husband like man he's like the, the just the love and attention and affection that we've been showing each other it's been just so good like i feel like i have mm, it's just been so good <laughs> it's just been so good and i'm loving it okay i'm loving it I'm loving just being a a good a great wife, supportive, understanding, like there for you, baby. I'm here to cater to you, baby. Every day, your day, like that's my man for real. Like, yeah, y'all, yeah. Baby, what's up? What you need? Like, I feel like that's my job right now. I feel like my job right now is to be be solid for my man because he's the head coach of our baseball team so it's like i'm there for whatever it's not even just for the baseball part of it but just like in the home like in life like 
I want my attention, so much of my attention goes to my family, my kids, just being a part of everything that they're doing. Like, that's what I want to do. My job, the jobs that I, the, the main jobs that I have, which is working my nine to five as an auditor, doing YouTube, like, these have been my focuses. And not even, like, YouTube for real. Like, and I do, I have been kind of slacking on YouTube. Like, maybe y'all can pay us week. And not too much, but, like, I've still been doing it, but I haven't, like, that's why I'm here today. Right now, I'm making a content video because it's like, Brit, sit down and talk to your folks because these are your folks. Fit them in with one on, you know, type thing. So, like, yeah, that's what my goal, that's what my focus is at right now, y'all. That's what I'm, like, really in tune with right now. Um, I said... I put a question here, like, have I made it? <laughs> Why did I put that there? I feel like, I feel like people, maybe because I've heard it recently from people who I know, who I've been around, and they're like, but you made it, like, you doing great. Like, and I do feel like I'm doing good. And I wouldn't say I made it. I would say that I make it look good. I make it look easy. I make it look like something but I don't even say I made it like <laughs> I make it look good I make it look good I make it look easy I can agree with that part I can say that yeah but have I made it made it to what because I'm nowhere near my goals <laughs> baby I'm nowhere near where I want to be like have I made it of course not I'm sure my life looks good and ideal for people, somebody who may be looking for the things that I have. And in that sense, in a family sense, hell yeah, like, I got my family, you know, like, we, we close me, like, yeah, I got that. But, like, as far as, like, financial gains or financial freedom or, like, just, I made it to the level of success that me and my husband desire to be at. No, we're not there. So it's like, like I said, I make it look good. I mean, I'm happy. I am truly happy. I am, which is my everyday life. But it's so much more to obtain. So that's why I'm like, kind of like, Brit, so what's next? Like, my next thing was goals. And when I think about when I like, I have you know you have short term goals and you have long term goals. Some of my long term goals um, is to be a life coach, a relationship coach, and community. That's what I put in parentheses. So as far as being a life coach, like I feel like. I am already someone who I'm someone who a lot of people come to like a lot of people ask for advice from me or you know just want to get my insight on things a lot of people a lot of people a lot of people like pour a lot of their and it's not new this has always been a thing like a lot of people has felt comfortable coming to me um so I do feel like that is a life goal of mine is to become a life coach I need to figure out what kind of certifications I need to actually become this person <laughs> and be certified to be this person because I do feel like I am good at listening and I'm also good at giving advice so that's a long time on my a long term goal, goal of mine a relationship coach because I do feel like I got a healthy happy marriage um and I do feel like I can give some insight on that as well. Like, um, yeah, I feel like me and my me and my husband have a lot of good conversations, deep conversations. Um, we keep we know we we talk we talk real to each other, and I feel like I have a lot of experience. I know I got a lot more experience to gain um but I feel like I can help people 
to have a healthy relationship. I don't know much about the toxic side. So that's the only thing. Like, But I can tell you. I, but I'm good at giving advice. Like People tell me about all type of crazy stuff that they be in. I feel like I give still good, solid, great advice on even things, situations that, I, that I've never encountered. Like, I still feel like I give great sound advice. And people use my advice and it works. So, I do think I want to become a relationship coach or a relationship therapist, counselor. I've always told, I've been so unfortunate for the past few years. Like, I think we should do like, you know, maybe this be a thing within like 10 years or so. But like, I want to do like couple couples retreats where we have like whole like, like a week long type of thing. And... Um, a vaca vacation, but we it's like educational. We have seminars, we break off into groups, we have fun, we talk about real, real uh, marriage situations, real topics, sex. You know, like we talk about a whole bunch of different things. Like, you know, he take the men, I take the women, I take the men, he take the women. You know, like type stuff like that. And we have like real activities, bonding activities. It's something that I really want to do in the future. Like that's a that's I don't know why I shared it with y'all. Like, but that's something that I want to do for real. And then community. Um, I think because I am so involved with my kids' baseball team and whatnot, like, and just being a part of the park. And our park is very tight and close knit. I love our park energy. Like, I love the energy that I get from there. I want to be more involved in the community. Um, so that is something that I really... Well, I really, I always knew, like, my ultimate goal, like, that I always said, is I wanted to have, like, a community center. Um, kind of like a boys and girls club type situation. Um, I always said that. Like, I've been saying that for about 20 years now, and I'm 32, so <laughs> I've been saying that for a long time. Um, I want to be involved with my community. Like, my main thing that I've been saying forever, and my husband will tell you, be the change that you desire to see. Like, I want that for my my community. Like, I want that for my community. I want to, I know the type of stuff that I want to see implemented into my area and where I stay at currently. Um, not that I always, I don't plan on staying here forever, but because I like you know like I want I know the change I know I know that I have a vision and so I want to just be so much more involved in my community like just to make it even better like, like I said I love my park already but I just know that there is so much so many greater things that can be a part of this and I want to be a part of it I want to be a part of the change <laughs> So, yeah, that's kind of my goals, y'all. Um, purpose is my last point. My purpose, um, my purpose, I'll just touch on it minor right now. I feel like if me and babe do a video together, you know, we can touch on it more. But my purpose, like, it's like cliche to say my kids, but. When I say my kids, I'm not even just talking about, like, my kids. I'm talking about breaking generational curses. And I necessarily breaking gener generational curses because, like I said, my family is great. You know, we have a great family unit. But it's a lot of hood shit that, 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 that didn't took place. You know, like, <laughs> it's like. Oh my gosh, like, cool, honey. I want to have my kids in a position to, like, the things that I haven't experienced or Fortune hasn't experienced. We want to just show them the best example, like, make them leaders from the jump. Like, so I can tell them was 16. They could easily afford me, okay? Like, <laughs> Yeah, but I feel like they've instilled some things in me that has made me the woman that I am. 
like a lot of y'all just a lot of y'all a lot of y'all I mean I talk about it and I y'all kind of see a little bit but I could be very much a hood ass bitch a country ass girl you know I could literally be but I'm like in between but still business savvy like <laughs> like I gotta I'm very well rounded when I talk about that when I say that when I'm I'm not even like <laughs> like baby I'm a very well rounded person I got a lot of like baby hood I could be real hood if I want to be I could be real country if I want to be but I'm like a good blend and I'm educated you feel me so it's like if you get these out of me, that's just because that's who I am. But, and it's like crazy. Some people try to talk shit like, oh, she saw this, she saw that. Well, baby, that's who I am. So, I'm not, it's not like offensive. It's not offensive. Because you can't, because I, because I know what I could be. And I know what I'm not. So, just because my, like my parents had me so young, like, I could have been like <laughs> I could have been who knows where I could have been but I miss, I really feel like I was there blessing like at the same time like it could have been like why do we do that why do we have a baby this young but I also feel like She's the best thing that happened to us. I mean, I got siblings, but it's still like, <laughs> not the best thing necessarily happened to them, but like still for real, like it could have, it could have went totally left, but because I got these, like they raised me so well. Like these, my parents are, my parents are not even 50 yet. They be 50 this year and I'm 32. So, you know, like, they had me young and I could have been who knows I could have been any kind of way could have been a country girl a city girl a hood girl like <laughs> who knows but they raised me with the perfect balance and made sure I was in my books and I met the perfect spouse for me but like us together and for our kids the things that we plan on doing for our kids the stuff that we already have set up for our kids so they're already going to be good they're already going to be good but we want to make sure they're good before we're gone you know because like <laughs> it's going to do them some good it's gonna do the hang on, like it's gonna do them some good. It's gonna do our grandkids some good. But we wanna already like just instill so many other great things into them before it even gets to the point where they're old and you know, yeah, they're gonna have this money, but it's like we wanna have y'all already having that mindset. Y'all already gonna know what to do. Y'all not gonna have to question what y'all gonna do. You know? It's like, I just pray that me and, me and they both stay focused and stay so involved in everything our kids got going on like we are now. That I already know our kids are going to be good. So our purpose is to, for one, baby, we want to live our own best life. <laughs> so it's not, it's like, it's about the kids, but we want to live our own best life. And it sounds like some people been living this life, but that's not the, that's not the life that we've lived. We haven't had all these luxuries growing up. That's not the luxuries that we've had growing up. So we're trying to just like break. Like I said, I don't want to say generational curses because I don't feel like it's that. I just feel like it's um, cycles, you know. We're trying to break the cycles. We're trying to already have things in place. And yeah, that's pretty much that. Like, we just want to have things in place. Like, I already know our our, our kids gonna know, and we're gonna know when we retire. We're gonna like or before like we we already travel and stuff and see the world. Like sometimes some of my like our parents probably 
my parents, they take a couple trips and everything, but we want to like make we want to be able to take them on trips still while we're still while we're still you know while they're still able to travel and stuff we want to be able to do that for them we want to take our kids places which they y'all see us if you've been seeing us for years like we we travel like we like to travel we like to take our kids places our kids are not just stationary kids where they just see what's around them we want to let them see other places we want to continue to do that we want to expand it we want to like get them passports so they can go to countries and whatnot we like but that's not but and it's not it might, it might sound like normal for other people but that wasn't our us growing up both of us got our passports together when when it was before we went to aruba we got our passports which was a few years ago like we want to get our pa kids our pa their passports like this year next year like we want to take them internationally to see the world like just doing things and also for our parents to see more than they've seen. Just breaking cycles, having investments. Something for our kids to really build on, for their kids to expand on, and so forth and so forth. Like, you know, we want to just keep this legacy. We want to make a legacy. But it's like, I feel like. We starting our own thing here. Like the Marshall gang. Like the Marshall. Like we are the Marshalls. <laughs> like. Yeah. Yeah. I want all of my family on both sides of the family. I want to be able to come together. Have investment properties. And have stuff together. And like. Just continue to build and build and build and build because it's like we so far behind our our culture, our com community, our like us black people. We are so far behind on what's really been going on out here. <laughs> we so far behind. I got three boys. I got three boys. Like they can really do some shit out here. I want them to be like some stand up men. For their family, for their community. Like, yeah. I always say, like, I want to be the next big mama. Not the next one. Not the next one, because I'm only 32. But, <laughs> like, I don't know if I got to have more kids to be considered a big mama or, like, the house. What everybody comes to like when I say everybody I want the cousins the everybody everybody to be like I want I want to I want the family the families I want to be able to host family reunions I want to be able to like I want to be the legacy I want us to be the legacy for both sides of our family Like, is that big? It's not too big for me. Because that's who I am. <laughs> that's who I am. It's not too big for me. Like, I don't want to be famous. I want to be family famous. I want to be like, family like, I, <laughs> I don't want to be famous to the world. I don't need to be famous to the world. I want to be famous to people who matters. The people who carries our last names, like whether it's my maiden name, my married name. I want us to be them people. I feel like that's my purpose. March Gang. Stand up. <laughs>